All right, in this video, I'm going to go over just Tesla. I'm going to go over the long-term counts that we have from here. So the first count is the most bullish one. This is what you want to see if you're long. This one, I think, is less likely. But the fourth wave ended right here, and we are in a diagonal. It can't be a five-wave move because this is ABC right here. So if this were to play out, it would look like this. Probably something like that. Maybe a move potentially up to like 500 bucks. And uh, this move right here would be headed all the way up here to, who knows, maybe 350, 400 bucks, depending on how fast, but it probably at least 400 bucks. <clears throat> so is that possible on the smaller time frames? Let's look at the smaller time frames. As I said in the video, that I just did on the market update, this really has to go. So this third wave would have to continue up and it would have to break basically 250 right away or the longer it takes, the higher it have to break. So it would have to be something like this. Just like that, pretty much. So this would have to go all the way through, and this is monthly supply right here. Another reason why I think it's highly unlikely, monthly supply is going to be hard to get through all of this. And really, what what is the news right now? Their, their earnings haven't been that good. Um, they had better than expected deliveries, but like, is it that good of news to just shoot the stock up to 300 or 400? Don't really think so. So... Like I've been saying for months, I think 240 is more likely. This is just one possibility, though, to end the cycle on Tesla. So this would end up probably playing out over <coughs> the next couple of years. So it'd probably be, this would probably happen into the fall, maybe October. And then we'd pull back maybe into like, April to June 2025, and then the end of 2025, maybe make a fifth wave. So that's the first possibility, the one that's less likely in my opinion. And then the second possibility that I went over in the video is we're making five waves here. And we're going to hit that trend line from the very top. Trend line right here. And this is just going to end up being... like this into 2025 and then we can have an actual normal five wave move to finish off this cycle. I like this one a lot better. The reason I like this one a lot better is I feel like we're not at that point where the news, the earnings are good enough to really go higher than this. And so uh, we need one more pullback and then when the, the earnings get better, we have more uh, information about AI, Optimus, all that stuff. That's when it really takes off. So I think this one makes more sense. But those are the two possibilities in the long-term time frame that I see. And um, we'll see what happens from here. Again, the reason why I favor that one is this is too far away from being an actual third wave. It looks more like a C wave to me, and we're in a supply zone right here. Um, so watch out. Everyone is getting super bullish. What do you do when everyone gets greedy? You do the opposite. So everyone's getting greedy here. This is where people will probably be selling, I would imagine. And like I've been saying in the videos, I think that July is probably going to be a top in the market for at least till the election. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you'll keep on going to the election, but it just seems like we're at a point based on all the charts where we're ready for a big pullback. And another thing to look at here, standard deviations. We're at three standard deviations on the daily, 138 straight to 231. Um, three day chart, we are getting close to the very top of two standard deviations. On the weekly chart, we're getting to the top as well. You can see it ends here at 260. And on the monthly, this is the only one that's really positive for the move all the way up here to like 350, 400 is his monthly chart. But 
we could still come back down here and then shoot up here um, in like 2025, 2026. So, I mean, all you're doing is just playing the probabilities and um, we'll see what happens. We'll see if it can stay above the weekly 200 um, by the end of the week. So it actually finished above that today, but all that matters is the weekly close. So we'll see if we're above 231 by the end of the week and we'll see which scenario plays out. I'm betting on this scenario right here playing out like this basically something like that over the next probably nine months or so so that's all i got for today just wanted to do a tesla update big move everyone's getting super bullish and again it might be a time to fade we'll see how it goes though if it starts blasting off tomorrow and goes to like 250 then my opinion might change but again we're in major resistance right here too that's it. Um, I will do a video tomorrow. We'll see what happens with Tesla.